Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Semineon here, and today I'm going to be showing off my new and improved uh, nuclear missile silo base thing. That's right. So I'll remember the last video I made. I made a new one. Of course. I think that's actually supposed to be, yep, that's supposed to be like that. That is merely for decoration. <laughs> so I have a little hidden area here. Let's hide this big door here. That's the very first part of our bunker here. Yes, we actually made a whole entire bunker for this thing. Boom, and then you close that. That's... Yeah, I did not figure out a switch to close the door when you get inside, but regardless. One thing at a time. So anyway, we've got that closed up here. Go down here. And this, this is our decontamination room. Had a previous decontaminator up there. All right, and this is our main area here, which houses our missile. Look at that. That is beautiful. Wow. <laughs> then we have our fuel storage room. I hate these doors. They're problematic. We have our jet fuel tank, and we have our liquid oxygen tank. Very exciting stuff. And then that goes to the walls here. To separate that from our launch zone. So it, it is a very good idea to se have that separated. Because <laughs> this just will spill like hot gas everywhere. And then over here we have our redstone control thing here. Which is under there. Protected by the reinforced newcrete. I have a lot of doors in here. All right, here we have our little sleep room here. There's monsters nearby, apparently. Yeah. Over here we have our main control room here. That's right, We, you can have your nuclear launch codes in here to make sure, you know, verify that your missile's ready to launch. This is a two-switch system, which is by far my favorite part about this. I managed to figure out this, at least. So in order to ready the launch, like, let's say, theoretically, if you only have one switch on, then the ready-to-launch light here will not activate. And you, I think you're actually, you actually need two people to turn this on at the same time. I mean, you could just walk over, because I did not really optim- I did not figure that much out. And then we have our radar here, so you can scope out the scenery here. Right now, I think we have a Doomsday Missile in there. I kind of don't know if I should launch it or not. Screw it. Here we go. And now, it's going to take us some while. Oh, there it goes. It's gone. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Um, I think that might have actually been a nuclear missile. I fucked up. <laughs> okay. Well, we're actually going to see the effects of a nuclear explosion on that, I, I assume. I really thought that was just a Doomsday missile. Unless he made it nuclear. Well, that's problematic, isn't it? Okay, well, let's hope it doesn't ex explode too far. Uh, mm. I think we might actually get to see how well they hold up. Oh, yeah, that was really close. I really thought we were going to see how well they held up. Okay. Yep. Okay, yes. Everything's radiated now. So that was actually very much necessary. The whole entire area is now radiated. I did not think that through. I could have swore on my mother that that was a freaking doomsday missile. Unless he made them radioactive now, which, you know, I guess would make sense. Look at the damage of that, though. That is crazy. So I have now managed to make my nuclear missile here. Oh, our radar is still working. That's pretty good. I have now managed to make our nuclear missile actually just straight up radioactive. And, um, hmm. yeah. Our entrance, I think, has just been absolutely destroyed. Uh, yeah, it definitely destroyed all of our doors. Uh, 
So that's problematic. The lever is gone. Oh, our lever is not gone. Praise. <laughs> uh, it's left some of our redstone still functions, which is crazy. Well, look at that. You know, it this did take a hit too. So that's got like cellophite there. Well, which is pretty good reason why our actual rooms are down here. <laughs> I didn't expect it to actually have to survive a nuclear explosion. Even though it was just the edge of one, but this room is entirely screwed here. Which I guess makes sense because it was exposed. Cause I I'm like a jerk like a dumbass. I kinda just left the door open. Our pipes are still good though, so I theoretically it might be able to launch again. You just fix the redstone. Oh, you know what? That redstone just might be from the thing that was up here to open that, which might be why it didn't close. Pretty good, though. I do have to say that survived pretty well. Our main launch room is still pretty good. Look at that. It's radioactive in here, no doubt. But besides that, look at that. All right, everything's good. Everything that needed to be good, did good. Let's get a Geiger counter in here. I feel like it's pretty spicy in here regardless, though. Oh, yes. <laughs> 21, 21 rads per second. That's that's not really healthy, is it? Let's see, total environmental radiation. Yep, okay, so it gets higher the more... So, like, right here is a big hot spot, I think. What? Interesting. That, the more interesting. This is very interesting. I got more radiation as the door was... Okay, it's subsiding. Somewhat. Interesting. You know what? I think there's more radiation over here because this is closer to the outside. Which means this would have... You know what? I don't know, man. That's funky. Interesting. This is very interesting. I'm... Oh, you know what? You know what? Interesting. I, I, I really don't know. Because I... I remember it. I did, don't have the redstone component someday. Well, anyway, I do say you did pretty good. And now everything's completely irradiated. <laughs> oh, and it completely destroyed my front door, which is ridiculous. Like, the whole piston door that I worked so hard to create is now just non-existent. And let's see here. It is very spicy up here. certain spots. So, like, the cellophite really doesn't give off that much. This is pretty interesting. Let's see how the original silo did. Our original silo is pretty good until you get to, like, pretty good until you get to the upper surface. So, our original silo is actually doing pretty good. Except for this. So, like, that also functioned mostly as intended. Which is great. So we, can actually, we actually can design a pretty functional bunker. It looks like it also did take that, like... The, uh, like, the top blocks out of that, too. So I guess that's just, like, natural to happen in that case. But all in all... That was pretty good. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.